Right. Last but not least uh, is mm -hmm. the Webley Osprey rifle mm -hmm. with a box. The only one I've got. Mm -hmm. That's got the, the only rifle I've got with a box. Mm -hmm. um, it's a. I think this is a. 70s, 80s rifle. Mm -hmm. there it's got a got the Webley Air Rifle Pistols uh, handbook. It's got the Air rifle booklet comes something or that for the products. Uh, not shoot yourself in the face, not to put your neighbour's eye out on the pallet. Uh, guarantee card, mm -hmm. a nice little pack of them. Um, where we pellets. Mm -hmm. And there's a cute little uh, Allen, key. Allen key, complete with a Webley badge. Mm -hmm. The oil bottle, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, that must go in there. See that though, that mm -hmm. would worry me if that's in there mm -hmm. and this box is getting moved around. If that could like slip out one. Oh, no, no, no. Scratch out a bit, ah, couldn't it? Yeah. It's got the period tin of pellets, mm -hmm. uh, 5.5, and this is just like the uh, the Osprey target. Uh -huh. But I think the barrel, on, this is a 2 2 by the way, uh -huh. the barrel on this is um, a lot thinner. Right. Whereas our target one had a very heavy barrel. Mm -hmm. uh, and the barrel was, you, you could actually take it out of the, the housing. Mm -hmm. um, I love the stock on it, unlike the ASAs. And that stock is. It's nice. It's like walnut, really, doesn't it? Mm, it does. Um, Looks a lot like it. It's not, it's not the usual like, beach and that, is uh, it? That stick up on the, uh, on the target one, mm -hmm. the target Osprey was all over the place, can you remember? Mm -hmm. The one way it is, don't shove your fingers oh, in there. Uh -huh. uh, if you decide mm -hmm. to take the piano up, <laughs> um, got the same old side lever. Aye. Uh, and again, you've got to give it a bit of a. Bit well, of that's a, a beautiful bit of a rattle to get back in. Mm -hmm. I can just see the starts. You can, you can see bits of marks on it where, like, bits of dimple type, uh, like, yeah, no, that's marks exactly sort of thing. exactly where your hands have been. Because mm -hmm. they, where it's just salt in it. Mm -hmm. See where it's been on there? Well, I do every time I put them away. I know you shouldn't do it, mm -hmm. but I coat my hands in oil and I'll give, rub it give it a good wipe down. I'm not bothered, I mean, my hands can heal themselves. Mm -hmm. This kind of thing, having said that, it's a big barrel on that. It's a chunk of it. Yes. It is. Mm -hmm. It's like a piece of uh, drain pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I've never fired this gun. Mm -hmm. I say it's been in the box since I got it. Um, very unusual that I've got the box, as I say. Mm. Webley's for some reason, you never see them. That's a bit naff like when you can see our lad, but there's no way else you mm. can uh, hide that. No. Uh, basic should... Heath Robinson. A safety catch. Mm -hmm. Safety catch. But it's very flat, isn't it? It is, uh, there's no there's contours, no, like, not much, it's like... just that little bit on the back uh, here. That's it. The planners obviously mm. designed like very, on a very that. thin, fine sort of uh, line, like less wood as possible. The it's designer's not a been afraid of the noon design. Uh -huh. uh, he's just come in pissed. Just get the work. Couple of hours in and I'm away. Get the work done, I'm away, yeah. <laughs> Very thin. It is, uh huh. Today. That isn't like less weird. Uh, but still, I mean, Webley. Mm -hmm. The oil on there, that's what I like to see. Get it out of there. Plastic cap, mm -hmm. as is always. Now, there's a strange thing. Obviously, all these guns are made for right handers. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. no, you're so right. Left hand has doing left, it. You're right. left it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd say for probably left hander. <laughs> right, so we'll put a couple of ah, let's see if we can hit some open, open sights on this one. Mm. So you, you'll have better luck with open sights because they tend to stay true a lot longer than telescopic. I think I'll have better luck with a council brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. A nice little Webley 2 2 in there. And I'll go for the big tin just for starters. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't the foggies because no, all I heard was. I was just bang, wasn't it? I? 
That's one hell of a clatter off the Next. spring. There it is. It's like Daniel Boone deer, is this? <laughs> Try it again. No, no, no that it's one. It's because I've seen dust. I've seen dust coming back from there. Oh, like, right. I just didn't know where. I, I was looking on the viewfinder more than I should have been watching that, really. Probably that old man behind smoking a pipe. Mm -hmm. Smoke, I've seen no dust. I'm zooming in a little bit. I right. didn't I didn't really want to, but I am. Now, I'll mm. give it one more go and then we're going to examine that tin. Ah, I see what damage has been done. So what damage has been done. We'll, we'll probably stand here for the next 24 hours just firing into the air. Just <laughs> <laughs> knocking the branches off the trees <laughs> in the background. <laughs> the way of food in the hedge. Uh -huh. It's like it. with that one. Right, we'll go and have a look. Uh -huh. so that's, that's the Webley Osprey. Uh -huh. I've just clashed it back in that box. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what I'll do, just uh, when we get up here, I'll, I'll just see what this does when we get up. Oh, the little PCP thing. Oh, that one did, didn't it? But I was on yeah. There's one of two five caliber pellets. Mm -hmm. They're not, not mushed up. It's actually dislodged. No, <laughs> long it was. So that wasn't bad. You can see where some of them pellets is uh, scraped along oh, the top. Oh, off the top of there. Aye. Oh, right. oh, okay. There's some more. Oh. 177. Mm -hmm. 2 uh, of course, the two five calibre pellets, the, the more of a dinting. Oh, aye, they're like for crushing and smashing aye, things on. The, aye, aye, the, the smaller, thinner pellets will rip space through. Aye, they will rip through. I mean, just just as a one off, mm -hmm. I'll fire this at uh, kind of point blank range. Uh -huh. Just see if it guns you through. Mm, some of them have, because there's one like on the top there where it went through just both sides. No. Went, it went through. I hold it hit the box in there. They see. Mm -hmm. And that's ripped out there. Yeah, it's coming. Mm -hmm. um, and just as a, as a fall on that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, if you look up there, that little bit up there, I'll see if I can hit that barrel. Oh, the wooden one. Uh, I'm just trying to get it. Hey. I'll put it. To the right, did you see mm. the dust kick up? I, I wasn't watching, I was uh, looking I've seen on the, the dust kick up, we've got one more. I was looking on the viewfinder. That's a good uh, 40, 50 yards away. Mm -hmm. No, missed. Mm. But that's, uh, that shows you. I would, I would quite happily um, shoot targets from here today. Uh -huh. um, but that's, like that. Zazdo. Zaz, Zazdo. Mm. <laughs> it's like a bottle of wine. Mm. A nice little gun. Mm -hmm. Any clever dick could make a nice little wooden. Oh, like a uh, like a stock for uh, uh -huh. Just one little bolt. Mm -hmm. Take them two little things out there. And then oh, slide That would be a nice piece, wouldn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's the Zazdo. Mm -hmm.